Hey guys, I'm Anthony and welcome to After Van Life. I am really excited about today's video. Today guys, I'm going to be giving you an inside look at what it costs for me to make and produce candles. But before I get into all of that good stuff, if you guys have not subscribed to my channel, please do so as well as hit that notification bell to be notified whenever I post a video. So I want to start this video off with a really, really good announcement. I'm so excited about this announcement. I am in the process of booking and confirming two craft shows for next month for me to uh, take part in. How exciting is this? As soon as I hear from the host of each of these craft shows, everything should be booked and confirmed. So I'm really excited. Now speaking about these craft shows, all spring and summer long, I'm going to be featuring six candles at these craft shows. So I recently bought more fragrance oils to accommodate having six candles. I chose six. I'm going to be introducing four new candles to you guys today when I get to that part of the video. So I'm really excited about that. So let's start this video off talking about labels. So I just mentioned to you guys that I'm going to be uh, featuring six candles. I bought six new labels to uh, go on my jars. They are different labels. I looked at my labels. I love the black at first. Initially, I still like it, but I no longer like love it when I look at it. So I decided to look for some different labels and give some color to my labels. There's still some black in there, but there's some color as well. I can't wait to show you guys those labels. They are not here yet. But I get my labels from Avery.com. I've always been getting my labels from Avery.com. They're very inexpensive. I get 24 labels for $10. So I bought six new labels, $60, plus uh, tax while well, shipping, $3. So $63 for six different labels for fragrances. So that's pretty good and inexpensive. The next thing I want to get into is my jars, lids, and wax. I get my jars, lids, and wax from a wholesale company down in Lancaster, Pennsylvania called Fillmore Container. And here they are right here. I get these 12 ounce jars with the black lids. Now the jars themselves cost for 12 of these jars, which comes in this box right here. They are separated can see 12 of these jars right here cost five dollars and 88 cents can you believe that five dollars and 88 cents for 12 jars now they sell the lids separate they are 23 cents each and <clears throat> so for the cost of 72 uh, jars and 72 lids was $35.28 for 72 of these jars. $35 for 72 jars. 72 lids came to $16.56. So that's, a, that's, a, that's around, what, 35 and 16, 45, $47 for uh, 72 jars and lids. So that's pretty good. Now the wax that I use, I get a 50 pound box of wax. I use GB Wax 464. It's natural soy uh, wax. It's supposed to be one of the best, if not the best waxes to use. I get this 50 pound box of wax for $66 and, let me look and see, 99 cents. Now. I should be able to make all 72 candles with this 50 pound box of wax. So that's pretty good. Now let me give you a comparison. When I first started making candles, I was buying 12 of these jars. They came with the lids on Amazon for 27, no, for, excuse me, for $17.99. $17.99, I was buying just a dozen of these jars and lids when I can go down to the wholesale place and get $5.88 for that. So what a big difference that is. 
this wax I was buying from Amazon as well. One 10 pound box bag of wax from off of Amazon was $27.75. If you multiply that times five to get one of these boxes of wax, that's $138. I'm saving $75 by driving down to Lancaster and getting a 50 pound box of wax. Wow, that's a huge difference. So my uh, wax jars and um, lids for this last order that I got cost $125.71 for all of that. That's unbelievable. Hooray for wholesale places. Now the other thing I have to buy is my glue dots and my wicks. I get and my warning labels. The glue dots and these, let's just say round them off to ten dollars. One of them costs like eight ninety nine and the other one costs like seven ninety nine. These warning labels, I get a roll for five hundred on a roll for twelve dollars. So that's like thirty two dollars there. So that's pretty good there. So now let's talk about my uh, fragrance oils because I'm super excited about this part of the video. Now I get my fragrance oils from most of my um, fragrance oils from Candle Science. I can't get all of them from there because Candle Science don't have all of the fragrance oils that I like there, but they do have the majority of ones there. So let's talk about the ones that I'm going to be featuring all spring and summer. As I said before, earlier in the video, I'm going to be featuring four new uh, fragrances. So let's talk about them. Or let's announce them. I'm going to talk about them. Fig Tree. Lush Lemon. Blood Orange. Grapefruit and Mango Steam. Can't leave out my oak moss and amber. It's one of my all-time favorites. And the other one, which I am still waiting in the mail to round out the six, is going to be strawberry shortcake. Now, let me tell you, these four fragrances, the three that I, the three new ones that I chose, the fig tree, the lush linen, and the grapefruit and mango steam, are five-star ratings. Uh, I chose them by their rating. I was looking for five-star rating. Uh, fragrance oils. I've read the reviews on each of these. Everybody loves them and I'm super excited to make some candles out of them. So what do you guys think about me just you know featuring six candles because I <clears throat> this is how I uh, travel with my candles when I go to a flea market or craft show. I just put them back in the box that they came in. They're very easy, 12. I can carry probably about four of these in at one time. It's very, very easy. All right, guys, so that wraps up everything. Okay, not, not quite yet. Okay, let's talk about how much these fragrance oils cost. This is a one ounce container of fragrance oils. One of the things that I really like about Candle Science that stands out to me than the other ones is that they have all their important information right here, very visible. You don't need to put it under a microscope to see it. They have the name of the company, the name of the fragrance oil, the uh, capacity of the container, one ounce. It also has the percentage of fragrance oils that suggested to make candles, uh, soaps, and lotions. And then it has the all important flashpoint number right there biggest day so that you can see what the flash point number is you guys know that the flash point is a very important number it is the number that suggests the highest temperature that you should put this fragrance oil into so these cost one ounce these one ounces cost two dollars and sixty five cents i like buying them in one ounces because these make four candles and i can just dump this one ounce into my wax and know that I have the proper amount of fragrance oils. $2.65, I bought 10 of them for my latest order, which came to $26. All right, 
So I think it's like $26. Yes, $26.50. So let's just talk about the whole total now. The labels, the wax, the fragrance oils, the miscellaneous things like uh, my warning labels. Whew, let me take a little break here. I'm getting parched with all this talking. So, <laughs> excuse me. So, we're going to base everything on 72 candles, okay? So, to make 72 candles, excuse me, the total of everything will come down to $247.50. That's what it would cost for me to make 72 candles. This 50 pound box of wax should make those 72 candles, so I shouldn't have to buy any more wax. And if I sell all 72 candles, I would make $864 at $12 per candle. Subtract the $247.21 for the cost of making those 72 candles, I can make a profit of $616.79. Now, they're going to be a little more than that because I do tax my um, sales when I'm at craft stores and so that's also included. So keep that in mind too. But that's the basic um, uh, profit that I can make off of 72 candles. I think that's pretty good. It's not like jaw-dropping numbers or right lucrative whatever but I think because this is more like a, a hobby to me right now I think making six hundred something dollars over six hundred dollars is pretty good so guys that's all I have for you in today's video I hope that you guys enjoy this insight of what it takes for me to make and produce my candles I hope you guys enjoyed the video as always thank you guys for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos I appreciate you guys you know that and I'll see you guys the next time